Hi everybody and welcome to video number 14 of the AdWords Editor video training course brought to you by ppccampaigngenerator.com. My name is Jared and in this video we're going to go over the Keywords tab. So the first thing you want to know about the Keywords tab is how to add bulk keywords into the program. So let's use this Make Multiple Changes, Add Update Multiple Keywords. And when you do that, you have the ability to add a whole bunch of keywords into the program. So I have a list of actually 15,000 keywords here. I'm not going to add them all because I just want to show you how to add keywords to AdWords Editor here. I hit Control Copy, Control V to paste. And you'll see we don't have actually have an ad group here. Let's hit Preview and that says, oh, this is the campaign. No, this is the keyword. So let's just make sure our column header says keyword, hit Process. And then hit Finish and Review. So it didn't add it to the right campaign like we wanted, so we could hit reject proposed changes if we want to. Let's just go over here, add ad group. There we go. Let's do this again. Paste them in there. And now we can see ad group number one is selected. Hit preview. The keyword is the header. Hit process. Now we've added 52 keywords to this ad group number one. Keep proposed changes. So now we have keywords actually in the program. That's great. But what can you do from here? Well, if you wanted to, the next step is usually to group them into common themes. So one thing you can do is do it manually. For example, we see furniture here. So we could type in furniture. And it looks like these are keywords that contain furniture. So I'm going to select all by hitting Control A. I'm going to cut them by hitting Control X. So that cut them out of this ad group number one, and they're saved to my clipboard right now. I'm going to hit add ad group, and we go into ad group number two. It's empty. In this area, you select it and then hit control V. And then we just added these furniture keywords to this group. What we could do is actually rename this group to say furniture. And then we want to go back to our original group here and find more common themes. For example, I see litter. Litter. So we could select all of these, control X, add a new group, call it litter, and then select the litter, group, and paste. And then go back again. And then we could do this until we have grouped all of our keywords into common themes. And the reason you want to group them into common themes is so you can write ads that are relevant to the keywords in each group. But let me show you a different way of doing this. Let's hit Control A, and what you can do is actually click and drag all these keywords into any group you want. So we don't have to cut them, we could actually just select all and then drag them. And now you'll see there's no keywords in this group or this group. So let's just delete these groups and get it back to our original state. So there's this tool that's built into this program called Keyword Grouper. Hit Generate Common Terms. That's going to give you a bunch of garbage. I don't recommend you use Keyword Grouper here to group keywords because watch what this does. It looks at the word inch and it says, oh, I found the word inch. Let's create a group. That's because this is here. It's in the top. If we deleted this, it's going to say inch cat. So if we hit next, we can see inch cat. And this keyword grouper has absolutely no complex logic built into it. It pretty much says if this word and this word is found, create a group and pull out all the keywords from ad group number one right here and put them into a group called inch cat. And it, that's not a logical way to do it, as we can see. So let's hit finish so we can quickly see. So we have a group called cat, which is not descriptive at all. We have cat tree, that's more, more descriptive. We have dog, furniture, inch cat, whatever that means, litter, pet, and sisal. And we also have a group called two. So not the best way to do it. I strongly recommend to not cut corners when you're grouping your keywords because if you do you're not going to be able to write relevant ads 
and your campaign is going to be very disorganized. So let me propose a different way. We see all these keywords here. What you can do is you can actually group them either manually, that's the best way, but it's time consuming. Um, I actually built a keyword grouper tool. What you can do is actually copy this. So I hit control C. You can go into Excel. You can paste it and you can see all the column headers here. See, we can see keyword. We can copy this. You can actually open up Keyword Grouper. And I just want to show you some, some things that Keyword Grouper has that the AdWords editor Keyword Grouper doesn't. So let's paste this. So let's say here we saw percent sign. So what, what we could do is actually select all. We can hit Control H. And this is a find and replace. We could say find percent sign right here, replace it with, and I'm just going to hit a space. We do that. It says three items found. And we replaced all percent signs with a space. But we can also see that there might be some other garbage in this keyword list or different non-letter, non-number characters. Well, Keyword Grouper can actually identify those really quick. So we see percent is found in there. Let's say this one had a plus sign. And let's say this keyword had a dash. And this one had an asterisk. Let's say actually a percent sign. This one had a dollar sign. If we hit this, it'll identify all non-letter, non-number characters. And we can replace them really easily. And then we can hit next and we have a bunch of settings that we can use to group our keywords like two word and three word frequencies and a whole bunch of different other options that are beyond this. So we just hit generate common themes and we can see these are the common themes found. If we increase this limit here, this is the minimum number of keywords per group and hit apply. We can see that these are the most common themes within this keyword list. So we don't like inch cat, right? Just hit delete. We don't want to create a group called inch cat or inch cat jungle or inch cat tree. Hit next and hit next. And we pretty much created our whole structure right here. So what we can do is just hit add update multiple keywords, paste it, select my keyword information, includes campaign and ad group names, preview it, process it, paste it, and this is the groupings that it came up with. So this is cat jungle gym, cat litter, cat tree, scratching post, and these sort groups are ones that didn't meet our criteria. So we could manually go through here and find common themes if we wanted to. So that's, that's keyword grouper in a nutshell. But chances are you just want to group your keywords after you've already added them. And I've showed you how to replace text using control H. That's the same thing as hitting this little text link down here, replace text. Then we have append text. So if we wanted to append something in front of all these keywords, let's say the word best. So let's append best and then hit space in front of the keyword before the existing selected text that's blue here. Hit append text, modify all, and we just inserted the word best in front of all the keywords. So that's a quick way you can append text to the beginning or ending all of your keywords. There's these advanced bid changes. So what you can do here is if you have assigned a max CPC bid, let's just say $1, $1. Then what you can do is select the group or select the keywords you want. Let's say all the ones that are blue here. I'm just going to randomly choose some not to for demonstration purposes. Hit advanced bid changes, increase the bid by 10%. You can also do dollar amounts and then hit change bids. And we can see some keywords have a dollar ten, some of them have a dollar. So this is really helpful when you want to make bid changes. You can also change the match types of your keywords. So let's say broad match, we want to phrase or exact, like so. And then we can also change the status. So this keyword's not doing so well, 
now there's this, now there's this, we just hit pause. And then we can also add URLs to all these keywords. By hitting advanced URL changes, we can set them all to HTTP cattoys.com that appended every single keyword with a keyword level destination URL and you can see it down here in this destination URL box. Now you might be wondering why do you want to have keyword level destination URLs versus just using the add level destination URLs. Sometimes people like tracking their keywords on the keyword level which can still be done on the add level if you use dynamic keyword insertion within your URL but I don't want to go too far in the weeds here. Let's just assume that this is used for some third-party tracking, like Omniture. And let's say it was question mark KW equals, and then it was the keyword here, right? What you can do is actually insert the keyword into the destination URL. So let's just, I just copy this keyword one, two, three, for example. Let me show you something. Hit Control H. And we're going to look in the destination URL. We're going to look for keyword 1, 2, 3. And we are going to replace it with open bracket. And then type the word keyword. Not uppercase, all lowercase. Close bracket. And hit find matches. That's going to find 52 items because that's how many keywords we have. And if you look in the URLs now, you'll see that KW equals and then it's actually the name of the keyword. So we have best 700 cats. So let's let's look for this here. It says best adopt a pet litter box. Great example. Best adopt a pet litter box. This percent 20 is encoding for a space. So that's equivalent to doing a space bar. And there you go. I mean, we appended keyword level destination URLs to report the keyword parameter KW to whatever reporting system we need. And this is probably too far in the weeds that you really need to know right now. But basically we've showed you how to add keywords in bulk. You can also just click this add keyword button here and then you can write in your keyword this is my keyword. And Then you can delete it if you don't want it hitting the delete key and we've showed you all this replace text, append text, advanced bid changes. There's going to be a whole video on the advanced bid rules that I suggest in a later series here. But let's say we see keywords here that we don't want. So let's say postcards. That's not relevant to us. Um, before I actually go into that, let me just show you how to remove this KW parameter here. Let's say we didn't want that parameter anymore. Select all, hit advanced URL changes remove URL parameter with this name just put KW you don't need the equal sign or anything hit change URLs and now it just stripped all that KW equals out of all of our URLs so now our URL is just cattoys.com so that's just another feature of the advanced URL changes and then you can append text to each URL but you can also achieve that same result by hitting control shift H and then just saying in the destination URL append this, like KW equals this value, append, and that's what it shows here. So we're going to just remove that, copy that, control H, remove it, replace it with nothing. There we go. So now I want to show you, let's say we don't want postcards. We're like, that's not relevant. What we can do is add negatives to our campaign or our ad group level. So if we had multiple groups and we want to add negative keywords, we can go, there's just positives and then there's just negatives part. We would do add negative. We can add the negative to the ad group level or the campaign level. I tend to always add keywords to the campaign level. I try to stay away from adding them to the ad group level if possible. Sometimes that's not possible. But for example, let's just do a campaign negative keyword here. I will paste postcards right here. And then what I like to do is add them as negative phrase. You can add a negative here, campaign negative, and we can type it out here. Postcards, 
make sure you have that. So postcard. So now we have postcard and postcard. Singular and plural. Let's make them negative phrase. And there we go. So another way you can add bulk negative keywords is what I like to do is just have a text file open and then I will just look at the keyword lists, find all the ones I know are not relevant to me, and come in here and paste them. So let's just say litter and hats and hat and those three keywords are not relevant. We're just going to hit preview. There we go and process. And now those negative campaign level negative keywords are added. And then what I like to do is change the match type to phrase. And there we go. So these are keywords that you don't want showing up in people's search queries when they search for your kind of products or services. So these are ways to eliminate ad impressions on your campaign. And that's pretty much the keywords tab. There's a lot of information here. I'm not going to really go into experimental bid changes, um, and I won't go into comments, but these are really not that important. I've showed you all the important things, and in the next video, I think we'll move into the advanced search and show you all the features there. Thanks.